Rand Paul, who is known for his commitment to the Constitution, his horrible voice, uh, being like his son. Wow, it's weird. His son, uh, the son, like, if Rand Paul is like an honorable crackpot, like an insane old man who's sort of like, oh, I mean, I have gold. You got, I mean, you know, I don't hate black people, but, you know, I mean, the chromosomes, you know, you're just like, all right, dude, whatever. Go to a nursing home, whatever you need to do. Rand Paul is like the dick son who got all of the bad ideas, but none of like the sort of bizarre, like weird sort of honorableness of his dad. So uh, he's trying to figure out how to deal with the Trump era because Donald Trump certainly sunned him a lot <laughs> during the campaign. I remember one of my favorite moments during the debates was uh, when Rand Paul made his attack at, at, at Trump. And he's like, you know, all he does is make fun of how people look and everything. It's just so sophomoric. And Trump looked at him and he goes, he goes, well, I never made any comments about how you look. And believe me, there's a lot of material there. <laughs> and I... <laughs> That was one of those moments where I realized that I'm not such a great person in some ways because if in that literal moment, I would have voted for Donald Trump. Um, but uh, uh, Rand Paul now, though, he was talking with uh, Brian Kilmeade, who is still, even in today's world, a solid candidate for dumbest person on planet Earth. And uh, they were on Kilmeade's radio show. Definitely one of the dumbest yeah. published authors. Oh, yes. I mean, and I mean... The, Trump's a published author. So yeah, I, I was going to say, I mean, uh, I make deals. No, I mean, honestly, Brian Kilmeade makes Donald Trump look like a like a Rhodes Scholar or a Nobel winner. I mean, Brian Kilmeade is room temperature on this. Uh, and, and basically, uh, Rand Paul's talking to him, and they're talking about Mike Flynn. Mike Flynn's been eased out, but there's new reports coming out with these Russia stories, uh, and the whole thing is a disaster. But Rand Paul has a really important insight about not getting your eye. Uh, the Republicans just can't get their eyes off of the ball. They need to stay focused on what really matters. Here's Rand Paul talking about why there shouldn't be further uh, investigations to the ever stupid Brian Kilmeade. Administration's linked to Russia in light of the Lieutenant General resigning as National Security Advisor last night. You know, I think that might be excessive. I think that it uh, looks like the president has handled the situation, and uh, unless there's some kind of other evidence of malfeasance, this sounds like something that was internal White House politics, and looks like the president's handled it. Uh, I agree personally. I just think that the <laughs> Senator McCain, and I can understand he was hit personally by the president, I think, as you were. Uh, I don't think he's over it. Do you? I just don't think it's useful to be doing investigation after investigation, particularly of your own party. We'll never even get started with doing the things we need to do, like repealing Obamacare, if we're spending our whole time having Republicans investigate Republicans. I, I think it makes no sense. I agree. Okay, so basically what you have there is um, this is, of course, just a little small side blip that uh, Mike Flynn uh, lied, potentially the FBI lied to apparently Mike Pence. Trump knew um, this is just the beginning of what we know about these calls to Russia, along with everything else that keeps getting reported about this stuff. And uh, But Rand Paul's on target. He's like, he's like, look, we have more important things to do, like make sure people don't have health care and take people out of their homes. I mean, I didn't become elected to the Senate to investigate espionage. I did it to make black kids poorer. So I think we got to get back to basics. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe.